Hi, I am Abhira Patel, educator on Unacademy. You can follow me on Unacademy by downloading the Unacademy learning app where you can find my other courses as well. In this video, we will look at the second set of one word substitution words beginning with the alphabet H. So please rate me and share this video. Also, do not forget to subscribe to our Unacademy YouTube channel. The subscribe button is just below. So our video is titled one word substitution words beginning with H. And you're watching the second part with me, Abhita Patil. This is the link to my Unacademy profile. So you can go to this link to watch my other courses as well as follow me on Unacademy. If you like this video, then please do rate, view, recommend and share it. Now in this lesson, we will look at the second set of words beginning with H. So let's look at the 10th word, which is honorary. Honorary is a position for which no salary is paid. So this position is given to someone in order to show respect and they are not paid for this position. So you must have uh, read on many boards outside your college, honorary chairman or honorary secretary of some association. So this position is given to someone just as a uh, token of respect and no salary is paid to this person. Next word is hermaphrodite. Hermaphrodite means an animal in which reproductive organs of both sexes are present. That is an animal in which male and female reproductive organs are present. So that's hermaphrodite. So for example, you have the earthworm. It has both male and female reproductive organs. And many uh, types of snails also are hermaphrodite animals. Next word is homophone. Homophone is two or more words having the same pronunciation but different meanings, origins or spelling. So you must have come across so many homophones till now. I'll give you an example. Um, buy and buy that is when you buy something uh, in a shop B-U-Y and buy as in when you're saying goodbye to someone B-Y-E. So that is a homophone. They have the same pronunciation, but the meanings as well as the spellings are different. And another example is new and new. That is new as the uh, antonym of old and new as in the past participle of no. So these are all homophones. Two or more words having the same pronunciation, but different meanings, origins or spellings. Let's look at the next word, which is hydrography. Hydrography is the study, surveying and mapping of the ocean, seas and rivers. So it is a branch of applied science which deals with the measurement and description of ocean, seas and rivers and how uh, they will change over time. So this is done mainly for navigational purpose as well as other commercial purposes. So that's hydrography, study, surveying and mapping of the ocean, seas and rivers. Hydrophobe. Phobia. Hydrophobia is the extreme or irrational fear of water. So the phobia of water, extreme or irrational fear is hydrophobia. Next word is hostage. Hostage is a person seized or held as security for the fulfillment of a condition. In so many movies you must have seen or some detective shows that some people are held hostage. That is, I'll give you a... a uh, an example as a scene of a movie so there's a uh, armed robbery that's taking place at a bank and uh, the bank is surrounded by uh, police right because of the alarm going off and uh, maybe someone must have called them uh, inside the bank the bank officials must have called the police so it's surrounded by the police and the uh, uh, robbers don't know how to exit with all the money that they've stolen. So they uh, hold all the people in the bank as hostage so that they will ask for other fulfillments also that uh, perhaps arrange a car for us to get out of this bank safely or we will start shooting. So that the people who are held as security are hostages. A person seized or held as security for the fulfillment of a condition. Now let's look at the next word, hymn. Hymn is a religious song or poem in praise of God. So a religious song sung in the praise of God is a hymn. Next word is humanitarian. 
humanitarian is a person who seeks to promote human welfare so this person is a philanthropist philanthropist is a synonym of uh, humanitarian so he does work for social welfare and um, he tries to help people as much as he can who are suffering uh, by uh, with something and uh, he does this for the, uh, the good of people that is he does not have any selfish motive behind it so that person is a humanitarian a person who seeks to promote human welfare next word is horizon horizon is a line at which the earth and the sky appear to meet so of course you must have come across this word also horizon where the earth and the sky appear to meet right it has a very poetic meaning now let's go through all the words again the first one was honorary a position for which no salary is paid hermaphrodite an animal in which reproductive organs of both sexes are present such as the snails or an earthworm next is homophone two or more words having the same pronunciation but different meanings origin or spelling so by and by or new and new right then hydrography the study surveying and mapping of the ocean seas and rivers hydrophobia extreme or irrational fear of water the phobia of water hostage a person seized or held as security for the fulfillment of a condition him a religious song or poem in praise of god humanitarian a person who seeks to promote human welfare or synonym is philanthropist or even an altruist and horizon a line at which the earth and the sky appear to meet so with this we come to the end of our lesson i hope you like the lesson and thank you for watching it if you all want to revise all the words again then please watch the video and again and you can also watch it in the slide mode so it's a quick revision for you and if you all can think of any other words that can be included in or uh, one word substitution of uh, words beginning with h then please do so through the comment section for any questions suggestions doubts feedback please mention those too in the comment section and if you all like this lesson please do rate review recommend and share it so that more and more people watch this lesson and attain a mastery over one word substitution words i hope you all prepare well for uh, revise well for the words that we've discussed in the h category and come back for the quiz which will be uploaded soon stay tuned for more bye